Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about FTP adapters. In this video, we will learn about each and every point of FTP adapters, why we are using FTP adapters, how what kind of operations we can perform using FTP adapters, everything we will learn in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other queries, you can make a comment on that. Let's begin. So here you can see whenever we require to getting file from FTP server or SFTP server, we require connection that can a connectivity that can create a connectivity between the server and Oracle integration. That's why we require FTP adapter to create FTP connection. With the help of FTP adapters, we can get data file from server. We can place a file over server. Even we can delete, move, we can perform various operation. FTP adapter is used to create FTP or file SFTP server connection. It is used to perform operations on file over FTP or SFTP server. It is also used to encrypt or decrypt file using PGP encryption key. The FTP adapter can connect to FTP or SFTP server that are publicly available on internet. Remember, and if that is not available on the internet, we, we need to use agent on that. Let's discuss about FTP adapter connections operations. What kind of operations FTP connections provides? So there are total six operations FTP connections provides. The first is read a file operation, write a file operation, list file, move a file, delete and download a file. Everything we will discuss in details. Let's begin. So here you can see we have first operation as FTP connections for read a file operation. Read a file operation is going to help you to whenever we are, we have to read a file from server. Suppose there is a file placed over server and we have to consume this file in Oracle integration. We will use read a file operations, but there is some limitation in read a file operations. We can read a file directly from file server into Oracle integration, which is having less than or equals to 100 MB of size. If any file having more than 100 MB of size, we cannot directly read a file from there. We cannot use read a file operations. That's why we have download file operations. We will discuss on that. We will download the file first, then we will use a state file operations to read the data file downloaded from server. With the help of read file operations, we can read up to one GB of data file if we are not going to provide any structure of the file. Now, next operation we have is write file operation. With the help of write file operations, we can create file over FTP server. And same, if we are going to provide file structure while writing the file, we can write file or we can create file over server up to 100 MB of file. If we have file size which is greater than 100 MB or the max to max 1 GB of data file, we can use directly write file operation without providing the schema. We can directly provide the file reference. Even writing while writing the file, we can use encryption and description also. Now we have list file operation. List file operation is going to give you list of file present over a specific directory. This will help you. This list file operation will help you to get the file in case if we don't know the, about the file name. Suppose if we know the file name, suppose file, we know that CSV file is present on a specific directory, but we don't know the, what is the name of the CSV file. List file operation will helpful there. First, we will list the file. List file will return back you the list of name of the file. Then with the help of that name, we can use read file operation to get the file from server. List file operation except file except wildcard operator so that we can directly get all the list of file which having the CSV data, PDF data, or that the text data and many more. Now we have move a file operation. With the help of move a file operation, we can move a file from one directory to another directory in SFTP or FTP server only. There can be various scenarios where we will use move file operations. Suppose there is a file we, of our server, we have to consume the file in Oracle integration. We have to process the file. After that process, we need to archive the file. At the time, we will use move a file operation to archive the file from a specific directory to another directory. Then after we have delete a file operations, it's a simple operation. With the help of delete a file operation, we can delete a file present over the specific, a specific SFTP server. 
and in last we have download a file operations as i told you that read a file operation cannot read the data file which having more than 100 mb of size at the time we will use download a file operation this download a file operation will download the file from sftp server to oic virtual directory then after we will use a stage file activity that read file in segment to read the data read the large data so each and everything we will discuss in details in next video we will create our practical where i will show you how we can use all these things thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries you can make a comment on that and don't forget to subscribe this channel and like the video thank you so much for watching